These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hey, good Friday to you. Megan Thompson with those top stories right now from ABC 15 Arizona. Teen violence murder suspects, they were back in court to all seven facing a judge Thursday, charging connection to the death of Preston Lord. The 16 year old was beaten at a Queen Creek Halloween party last year and later died. Community members wearing orange showed up pushing for justice. Inside the courtroom, the attorney for Trust and Billy telling the judge about their concerns of having a fair trial here in Maricopa County. The attorneys for three other suspects also have or intend to file motions to modify their client's release conditions. Preston's stepmom spoke with ABC 15 after court, describing the nightmare their family is going through. To be perfectly honest, the community is prayers and support for us is what has kept us moving. Uh, sometimes the waves are bigger than other days. Um, getting up out of bed every day and doing what Preston would have wanted us to do to live like Preston uh, is our driving force. For now, the trial is slated for next July. All seven suspects have pleaded not guilty. A Valley mother is on the run accused of stealing tens of thousands of dollars from a Scottsdale Middle School Parents Association. Police say the Cocoa Pop Middle School Association of Parents and Teachers elected Nubia Gonzalez as their new treasurer. They gave her access to bank accounts in late June. Just days later, police say Gonzalez took out more than $36,000. She has not been found, and police say she gave a fake address and a disconnected number. It is a large amount of money. We just feel for all the teachers and students and parents who have put their time and efforts and their you know, trust in somebody who would, would be actually helping at the school. The association now says they're putting in safeguards to make sure this does not happen again. The weekend has arrived, and we are a moving and a grooving for the World Hip Hop dance championships featuring the best dance squads from over 40 different countries all competing at Mullet Arena in Tempe this Saturday. Check it out this weekend with tickets starting around 40 bucks. And maybe you can learn a thing or two from these dance experts. I know I could. You're going to see a whole plethora amount of diversity culture right here on the stage doing what everyone loves and that is dance. Calling all country music fans, the Musical Instrument Museum is putting on Celebrate Country, where you can discover the origins of country music, enjoy live performances, and learn a new dance step. Check it out on Saturday and Sunday from 9 until 5, and it's included with $20 museum admission. We have uh, honky tonk country music, and we also have some contemporary performances. Ready for something sweet? Glitter and Sugar, an immersive pop-up experience featuring vibrant art, whimsical candy-themed rooms, live music, interactive activities, and so much more. Check it out on Friday through Sunday at the Double Tree by Hilton Hotel in Tempe. Tickets start at 29 bucks. Let's cool off at a free foam frenzy. Beat the heat and enjoy a fun water party at the Arizona Boardwalk in Scottsdale. Make sure to bring your water shoes and sunscreen. This event is free on Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. It's an exciting weekend at Chase Field as the D-backs host the Philadelphia Phillies in a rematch of last year's NLCS. This weekend series features Faith and Family Night and GCU Night on Friday. Then Saturday, the first 30,000 fans will receive NL Champ replica rings. And Sunday is NAU Day and Jewish Community Day. And the Arizona Cardinals will host the New Orleans Saints in the first preseason game of the year. Kickoff is at 5 p.m. Saturday at State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Tickets start at 6 bucks. For more information on ticket prices and other events in the Valley, visit abc15.com slash things to do. Reporting in Phoenix, Zach Perry, ABC 15, Arizona. Time now for the MOS Active Forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. Temperatures today still below 110 for Phoenix with a high of 108 this afternoon. We'll make it back to 110 out like Havasu and Bullhead City, but just 110 today with highs in the upper 80s in Prescott, 90 in Payson, 91 today in Sedona and Flagstaff, only reaching the upper 70s. There is still a slight chance for storms today, about a 20% chance for storms are best chances between about 5 and 10 p.m. And like yesterday, we'll have to watch for some strong winds that could trigger storms here in the valley. So after some overnight rain in parts of our state, 
We'll see that quiet down through the morning. More clouds across northern Arizona, so that may hinder some of that storm development up north, but still expecting scattered storms in northern Arizona and in southeast Arizona first before we see that chance for storms go up here in the valley. Again, a 20% chance for storms. Certainly that could trend up as the day goes on. We'll just have to watch for some strong winds that could trigger new storms here in the valley. Heating up on Saturday to 110 plus, but then temperatures just shy of 110 it looks like now through much of next week. You can expect another update from us tonight. Until then, get the latest news, weather, and traffic at abc15.com, or you can download that free ABC 15 mobile app. Have a great weekend. These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.